Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Brian Britton with the Harvest Family Network, and I am uh, sharing this video today, this message that God's put on my heart from Sao Paulo, Brazil, where I've been for two weeks, and it's just been an amazing time, you know, in the presence of God uh, in our meetings here, all different types of churches, uh, and it's just been amazing to see God move in all of these different places. And today, I want to talk to you about uh, the Word of God. I want to talk to you about faith. I want to talk to you about uh, the importance of these things in the move of God that's happening in the earth right now. But you know, I, I love uh, I love worship more than anything else, man. I love I am a worshiper, and and I love prayer. And uh, the Lord reveals the most to me about uh, about who He is, about His ways, uh, understanding His presence, living in His presence, from His presence. In worship, just when we are totally focused on Him and lost in worship. I hope you love to worship. For me, worship is my favorite. And I, if I could give you advice, I would say to you, man, make worship your favorite because uh, there's nothing like being in His presence. And He and He shows us uh, His nature as we worship Him. We get to experience Him and interact with Him. And we're not singing songs to a different, to a distant God. You know, we are worshiping a God who is with us, who we walk with, who we talk with, who we live with. So this is what makes Christianity so different is because this is about a love relationship well, with the living God, with Jesus Christ. You know, but uh, there's something uh, to be said too, uh, whew, come on, about a daily immersion in the word of God. And we are washed by his word. He transforms us by the renewing of our minds, you know, as we read his word. And I don't know how much you're reading the word of God, but I always say this, you need to read it more. And don't tell me you're in love with Jesus, you're in love with God, when you don't love his word. Because when you love him, you want to know more about him and you love his word. But in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, I want to share this scripture with you. It says, so faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of God. There's some important things in this little short verse that I just want to uh, point, out, point out to you. First is that faith, which is important. By the way, the Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. And we know that faith comes from God. It is a gift. He's the author and perfecter of our faith. But the first thing is that faith comes from hearing. It comes from hearing God, which is an ongoing, present hearing from God through his word, through times of prayer. And it, uh, it doesn't necessarily come from hearing the word of God, but faith uh, does come from hearing, yes, but our, our capacity, uh, I saw a teaching from Bill Johnson where he pointed out that our capacity to hear comes from the word. Our ability to hear comes from the word. We can't rightly hear God unless we understand his word, unless we understand who he is. Uh, we need we, we are called to be a, a people of great faith. We should be people of great faith. And this faith comes as we are in his word, as we know the living word, as we become energized and uh, ignited, you know, by his word. That is where faith comes from. That is where it comes from. It comes from, from hearing and from hearing the word of God. So our ability to hear comes from the word. And then our, uh, our faith comes from that ongoing hearing. Like, I don't believe because he spoke to me 10 years ago or, or, or 15 years ago or five years ago. I, I heard him this morning. I heard him say that he loves me this morning, that he's with me this morning, that he's never going to leave me or forsake me this morning. That faith comes from hearing. We must be in a place of hearing, a posture of hearing all the time. You know, that we're always listening, that we're always giving our, our always attentive to him because he is beautiful and he is worthy of our attentiveness or of our attention and of our listening. He has things to say to us. And when, and when we're in the word, let us be listening for him to speak to us. The Bible, the word of God is just literally filled with words that have just been sitting there waiting on your desk, on your table, on your bookshelf, waiting to explode to life in, uh, explode in your life. The, the, the word is like a bomb, man. It's the Holy Spirit bomb. It's waiting to explode in your life with more of his life. And so get in the word, get in prayer. Faith comes by hearing. That's hearing every day, moment by moment, aware of him. Because no matter what moment you might find yourself in, and all we have is now, all we have is this moment. But the good news is, man, is this moment is filled with Jesus and he has something to say to us. He loves us. We're his children. He's always going to be with us. Everything's possible with him. Come on. If you don't quit, you're going to win. 
So I wanted to share this with you today. May you be blessed with a supernatural faith, a supernatural ability to trust God. May you hear his voice more clearly today than ever, ever before. And I pray that, whoa, that you will walk like him, talk like him, live, move, and have your being in him. This is a great promise of the gospel, that he's always with us, that we can hear his voice, that, that we're on the journey with him, and he's closer than you know. He's speaking in here all the time, right where he lives. You're a temple of the living God, the God who speaks. He is. You know, when Moses uh, asked, well, who do I tell them sent me? He said, I am. And he is the God who is with you. He is the God who speaks to you because he loves you so much. So God bless you, friends. I hope you were blessed by this little short, encouraging word. I hope it was today. Uh, if you were, share this message. Let me know. Hey, put prayer request on the YouTube page. Uh, in the comment section, I want to pray for you. We'll have others pray for you too. And uh, we'll come back soon and share some more with you.